I'm Mitchie Wall, and welcome to another podcast of the NC World Anime Group. My name is Robert Clay Allen, and I'm currently the president of the group. Today we're reviewing the animated movie, The Child Who Chases Lost Voices. Now this anime is very well done, put out by Semi-Works. You can still find copies out on the internet, which I recently got this one thanks to Ray at the Comic Mind Store. The person who uh, worked on this anime directed also to 5 centimeters per second Voices of a Distant Star in the Garden of Words. The animation quality is very well done. The pacing of the story is very well done. The music is excellent. I highly recommend this anime for anybody's collection. If you're a true anime fan, you will not be disappointed with the quality of the animation in this er this movie. The next big event that is going to be happening in Salisbury is that the Comic Mon Store is hosting a picnic at Dan Nicholas Park on June 25th time 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. The next big meeting for the NC World Academy will be happening on July 30th. Meet us in the conference room at Woodley Flames from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. to watch Zetman. Please take a note that Zetman is for the age of 16 up. Bako Ori is a Japanese culture festival that happens at the Wells Fargo building. That's going to happen on August the 5th. I am planning to be at that event. The next Charlotte Comic Con will be happening on August the 20th at the Embassy Suite Hotel in Concord, North Carolina. Kids under the age of 12 get in free. The NC Roy Academy Group is hosting a celebration of 100 years of Japanese anime on August the 26th at the South Bridge of the Royal Public Library. Time 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. Please come out and help us support 100 years of Japanese animation. Thank you for watching this podcast today, and may you have a very good day. Goodbye.